It's no secret these are tough times for many people in today's economy, and perhaps you or your neighbor might be having trouble holding on to your home. It can be embarrassing and even humiliating to ask for help, but we're here to tell you that's exactly what you should do. TJ Larson from My Town Home Realty is here. TJ, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. This is a great topic, I think. Uh, people shouldn't be embarrassed. They can't help but feel a little bit embarrassed, but they should ask for help, right? They really should. Unfortunately, I think that the, uh, the worst thing you can do is have inaction. Mm -hmm. There are people out there that can help you. There are realtors that, are, that specialize in uh, distressed property situations. You can talk to your attorney. You can talk to your bank. Uh, don't, do, don't, don't not do anything. You want to act. Make sure that you, uh, you work on a solution. That's a good, good point. Okay, let's talk about a few other things that homeowners can do. The first, you say, is loan modification. Tell us more about that. Loan modification is a process where the bank can actually keep you in your home. Uh, let's say you've got mounting medical bills. Uh, let's say you've lost your job, you've been transferred. You're just having trouble making the minimum payment. The bank doesn't want you to lose your home. They certainly don't want to take it back into foreclosure. They may have a way to roll your interest rate back. Uh, they may have a way to refinance the loan. Uh, they may forgive some back payments, so they can work with you. Okay, that's good to know. You hear the term uh, short sale a lot. What is a short sale? Short sale, unfortunately, is something that we're working a lot on. And what that means is that the market value of the home is less than what you can yield in a sale today. And you can work with an expert on that. They can work with you. They can work with the bank. And they can come up with a solution where maybe the bank will forgive the deficiency that you owe on the property. And then finally, the dreaded word, the word we want to avoid, foreclosure, if you get to that point. Yeah. Well, hopefully we catch it early. Hopefully mm -hmm. we can work with somebody on a short sale process before they get into foreclosure. Foreclosure is a process where a defaulted borrower is deprived of interest from their home. Basically, they take your home away from you. So if you reach out there and you consult an expert, there are solutions. There's plenty of people that can help you today. So if somebody's watching today and they're having trouble making that mortgage payment, you say, go ahead, pick up the phone. Yeah. Look to people like you, like you said, talk to the bank, talk to an attorney, but go do something. Go do something. It's, it, I understand that that can be a, a humiliating process. Mm -hmm. And uh, far, far too many times someone won't reach out to someone that they trust because they don't want to talk to them about mm -hmm. that. That is exactly what you should do. And your bank is not necessarily the enemy here. They want to work with you. They don't want to foreclose on the home. There's and I light, think yeah, yeah. you just have to get over those feelings of embarrassment, too, and just know people get it. You know, you just have to go, you, like you said, the, the worst thing you can do is to do nothing. And I think you'll feel so good. It will be just a burden off your shoulders when you make that call. Absolutely. TJ, great information. TJ's posted a resource guide on everything that we've talked about today on mytownhome.com, or you can email him as well. We've put that on our website, but check out his, his website. We appreciate your time. Great information, TJ. Thanks. Come back and see us again, will you? I'll do it. Okay.